Have you ever tried a traditional Turkish coffee brewed in a sandpit? Surprisingly, this ancient technique may hold the key to addressing one of the major challenges in renewable energy. But how can this be? The answer lies in the hot sand. Of course today we will be talking about sand batteries, an innovative and scalable solution for storing surplus energy from wind and solar power, utilizing one of the most affordable, widespread, and abundant materials available on Earth, sand. But how does it really work, and how might it compete with lithium-ion batteries? Let's find out! A sand battery is a simple form of thermal energy storage that retains energy in the form of heat. Imagine a sand battery as a giant flask filled with hot sand. Excess energy from sources like solar, wind, or the grid is used to heat up an enormous amount of sand. You might wonder how this works. While sand may not appear particularly remarkable, it excels at retaining heat. We can utilize the stored energy either as direct heat or by converting it back into electricity. But converting it to electricity is somewhat complex and comes with various drawbacks, but using the heat directly is incredibly simple and has been done for ages. Take the example of Turkish coffee. The process involves heating a tray of sand and then using the heat from the sand to brew the coffee, harnessing the heat directly. Perhaps the invention of this Turkish technique dating all the way back to the 15th or 16th century was the precursor to sand batteries. But why do we need sand batteries or any form of energy storage in the first place? Because renewable energy sources like solar and wind can be intermittent. The sun doesn't shine consistently throughout the day and not at all at night. Similarly, the wind doesn't always blow at a constant speed. In fact, did you know that wind farms sometimes have to shut down even when the wind is blowing due to a lack of demand? This highlights the necessity for a way to store energy for later use. To power our lives around the clock with renewable energy, we need to maximize energy generation during peak times and store the excess for when it's needed. A Finnish company called Polar Night Energy unveiled the world's first commercial sand battery. They built a pilot plant with a large industrial-sized battery with a capacity of 8 megawatt-hours, delivering 200 kilowatts of power as heat, enough to provide district heating for 100 homes during the cold Finnish winters. That battery has been in operation since 2022, and it uses 100 tons of low-grade construction sand, heated to around 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. So how do sand batteries actually work? Before we dive into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The process begins with a massive insulated container that resembles a giant thermos, containing pipes similar to those in a radiator and a large amount of sand. When there is surplus energy, it can be used to power a heating coil, which heats the air that flows through a closed-loop system of pipes. This process heats the sand to temperatures up to 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, storing the electrical energy as heat. To utilize this stored energy, there are few options. We can use the heat directly, for instance, by warming water in a separate closed-loop system like in district heating. Alternatively, we can convert the heat back into electricity to power our daily needs. But it's more efficient to use the stored heat directly as an energy source. Converting electricity into heat is straightforward and highly efficient. In contrast, converting heat back into electricity results in a loss of 30 to 50% of the energy. Therefore, sand batteries are most effective for storing and using heat directly, not for powering our electronics or charging electric cars, but for heating homes and water. In this case, how valuable could sand batteries be? According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, only 30% of the total energy we use daily is for lighting, refrigeration, and powering electronics. Another 9% goes to air conditioning, while nearly 60%, almost two-thirds of all household energy consumption, is dedicated to space and water heating. This underscores the critical importance of heat as an energy resource. There are several other thermal storage systems out there, so why use sand? 
Sand is incredibly abundant and cheap. Beyond its abundance, sand boasts exceptional thermal properties compared to other materials. It allows for a significant temperature increase with minimal heat input. Typically, thermal energy storage systems lose heat through their walls, but sand's slow heat conduction means it takes a long time for heat to travel from the battery's core to its walls. This reduces energy loss and enhances the battery's efficiency. More importantly, sand can withstand temperatures of up to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes higher, depending on the type of sand. You can't heat water over 212 degrees Fahrenheit without pressurizing it because it'll boil. In fact, you can't heat liquid water at all above its critical point of 705 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this helps us increase the overall amount of energy we can store. This also makes the sand battery useful for mainly industrial applications that require high temperatures. Also, when heat from storage is used to generate electricity via steam turbines, higher temperatures improve turbine efficiency. This means more electricity output for the same amount of stored heat. Finally, sand is non-toxic, non-flammable, and poses little environmental risk. It doesn't degrade or change its chemical composition, even after multiple cycles of heating and cooling. As with any technology, there is always a drawback or a catch. If sand batteries are this good, why aren't they everywhere? For one, their round-trip efficiency, that is the amount of energy you put in that you can get back out, drops pretty significantly. Polar Knight claims their 8 megawatt hours battery has a round-trip efficiency of up to 95%, which is better than lithium-ion batteries that typically range from 80 to 90%. However, this high efficiency is primarily for residential heating. If you want to use a sand battery to power your home's electrical needs, the best efficiency you can achieve is around 65%. Yes, sand isn't flammable or toxic, but a giant insulated thermos full of white hot sand can still be dangerous. Any water near this could be a ticking time bomb, since the water will nearly instantaneously boil and increase in pressure. These systems are obviously designed with safety in mind, but what if there was an earthquake or the walls crack? Such a scenario would have a dangerous impact. The other thing is, sand batteries are large, which makes them highly efficient for big applications, but not so much for smaller units like those for homes. While sand itself is inexpensive, you still need additional components like heat pumps, radiators, and electrical coils to heat it. This means the unit won't be particularly cheap, especially as the cost of lithium-ion batteries continues to decline, as seen with Tesla Powerwalls. Space is another major issue. Lithium batteries can even be mounted on a wall outside your garage, but a sand battery requires a large cylinder. Additionally, sand batteries are primarily useful for heating water and your home. What happens in the summertime when you don't need heat? Therefore, sand batteries might not be as valuable as they initially seem. While sand batteries may not be ideal for residential use, they excel on a grid scale. Sand batteries become more efficient as they increase in size, and one company is pushing these limits by constructing the world's largest sand battery. Polar Night Energy recently secured $8.2 million in funding for a large-scale sand battery in Finland. This new battery will have an output capacity of 1 megawatt and store 100 megawatt hours of thermal energy, making it over 10 times larger than their initial pilot plant from 2022. The new battery will be capable of providing heating for an entire town of 5,000 people for a week during the coldest winter. The batteries are expected to be tested and ready for deployment by mid-2025. Looking into the future, sand batteries will offer a sustainable, efficient, and promising solution for energy storage needs. From their environmental benefits to market potential, sand batteries are poised to revolutionize the renewable energy sector. Continued research and innovation are crucial for advancing sand battery technology further. By exploring potential solutions and strategies to address the prevailing challenges, we can pave the way for mainstream implementation of sand batteries. What are your thoughts on sand batteries replacing lithium-ion batteries in the future?
Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.